Welcome back to the sixth part in this series and in this one we're going to carry on building the to-do list application and as I said in the last video I was going to try to make this submit button work. So I'm going to carry on first with the uh, HTML part of this and then I'm going to go over and do the JavaScript as well. Uh, now firstly I noticed a typo that I had in the previous video so in ng con controller it's supposed to say so it needs an r there which I had missed out. So I also need to uh, update this form, so I want some extra information so that Angular knows uh, what I'm actually submitting. So in the form itself I'm going to say ng submit, so that's an Angular thing, and I'm going to say to do add. Now that's going to correspond with a the add function that's going we're going to write in the JavaScript in a minute and I also want to update this input so that it says uh, ng model uh, and that is going to be our sort of reference to the particular input itself so the data that's entered into this field is going to be referred to in the JavaScript as to do input. Now I'm also going to update this with a placeholder and that's going to be equal to um, well, it could be whatever you want, but I'm just going to say add a new to do. Uh, so let's just check that pulls through at the moment. So we can see it's pulling through there, and then when it, when we click it, uh, it's still there. But then when we start typing, it's going to disappear. Uh, so that's quite nice. And what else do I want to do? So that looks good. What I want to do now is I'm going to put a break just to separate the inputs uh, from the data being shown itself. So this is the actual to-do list that we're editing, essentially, or updating. And this is going to be in a div. And instead of class, what I want to put is, uh, I'm just going to put an ng repeat. So this is going to be bound to uh, some data in the JavaScript. Uh, and I'm going to call that to-do list. Uh, so a bit like a for, a for loop in Python, we could just say uh, for to-do, like without the for keyword. but to do in to do list like that and that sort of does a similar thing uh, and inside what I'm just going to do for now is a span and an ng bind so I can say that's going to bind to to do dot uh, to do text so to do is going to be an object and ho hopefully this will probably make more sense when I write the JavaScript part of this but to do uh, I'm presuming it's going to be a sort of iterable object uh, which is sort of going to look like a dictionary uh, and in that there's going to be uh, an attribute or a key I suppose called to do text uh, and that allows for if we want to add anything else to, to do with that particular to do item we could quite easily do that say the assignee if it was like a Jira ticket for example or uh, maybe a status of whether it's done or not later down the, down the line uh, but that's all I want to do for now. I'm not going to do anything too fancy, and I'm going to just leave it there. I think so. That's probably all we need to do for the templating. If I go with the JavaScript, I'm going to start to fill this out. So I want to put some data uh, as a default value first. So I'm going to create the to-do list uh, with some default data. I'm just going to say to-do text because that was the uh, sort of name that I was referring to in the uh, template, I'm going to say finish this app as my first to do item on the to do list, and I'm going to say uh, uh, now that data sort of been created, we have a to do list of sorts. I'm also going to create the function that allows us to add the to do uh, or to do add to add the to do to the to do list, which is here, uh, and that's going to be a function and I'm going to say uh, that this has uh, the ability to uh, change this to-do list. So when the data is submitted I'm going to call the to-do add, so remember this ng submit here calls to-do add which is what I'm creating now and inside that what I want to do is uh, change the to-do list a little bit and for that I want to do uh, scope uh, dot to-do list dot push and inside what I want to do is push the new data from the input 
uh, field, which is going to be this one, that we called uh, to do input. So that was here, this ng model. This is the name of this input uh, from Angular's perspective, uh, which means that what I have to do is uh, to do text uh, is going to be, so the value of that is going to be this uh, found. Uh, so the value of to do text is going to be found on the scope, like everything else in Angular, and it's going to be the to do input value. Uh, so whatever's in this text box, uh, just here essentially, uh, because that's the name that we gave it in the template. Uh, that should be all we need to do. Uh, what I can also do, because uh, if we leave it like that, this box will still have text in it. So to empty it, what I can do is to do uh, input, and that's just going to be blank, so that this clears every time we hit submit. Um, now that should be okay, so if we refresh this we see uh, it says finish this app, so that's my first to do item. If I want to add another one I can type in this box, press submit, and that actually gives us some sort of working consistency with our Angular application. Now that I've actually got that submit button working and uh, sort of populating this list with the default value and everything, I'm, I want to add a checkbox here to see if the item is done or not, and then if we check that box and then press a button, say a remove button for example, I want that item to disappear so we can sort of mark it as done and sort of take it off the list. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next video.